Hey, it's your good growers and smokers. We're going to be opening up the Phantom LED Pheno 440 watt um, adjustable LED. I wanted to open up this box in front of you guys. We got this as a demo. We're going to be running this in a 5x5 tent uh, with a blue mat watering system with greenhouse bio grow bio bloom uh, so we can have a direct comparison with some of our previous grows. We're going to grow the same strains we've been growing before. I'm going to go look back at the video, see what we were growing. I know we were doing a Medi-Kush and a Sour Diesel. We've still got those bad boys. Actually, you can see the Medi-Kush behind me there. Um, we did get a new stream. Actually, we got a gift this morning. Uh, we've got some uh, cherry donuts. So we got some cherry donuts. We've got a couple here I got from a friend of mine. Uh, we little, did a little bit of a plant swap. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we're going to be growing some cherry donuts, but not with this light because we want to keep consistency. Here's our box. We're going to open it up. Now we'll take the pop open here. If you guys want to get a sneak peek of what this bad boy looks like here, I'll show you the label here. That's what it looks like. Yeah, I know it's all in reverse because we got the other camera mode here. But uh, this is the unboxing of the Pheno 440. Uh, put this knife aside here. We'll take this box out. We'll take a look and see what's in there. Here we've got all our foam strips um, protecting our unit here. Here's little wrapping packages and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to move this little box aside here. We're going to take this bad boy out. Now, I'm hoping I'm going to get it out without any issues. Oh, there it's already got the hanger racks on there. We're going to take those out just to so it doesn't create any issues with us pulling this light out. And as you can tell here, we've got cardboard all across, covering it all up. We've got the protective foam in here. Let me get our arm here. We're going to take these end caps off. And out pops the, the cardboard protective covers on the bottom of the box. Here, we're going to take the box out of the way. And we're going to take this and we're going to take it up down here. See that? This is what this bad boy looks like. It's got two panels that we can adjust the angles of the LED. Now it's, uh, as you can tell, it's quite substantial. It's a good, uh, good few pounds there. It's probably about 20 pounds or something like that. I think it was actually like nine kgs or something. But as you can tell here, there's your LEDs. There's a view, close up view of the, of the bars. Full spectrum. It's got the infrareds in there and everything. So uh, we're going to take this thing and do a little, we'll spark her up while she's upside down. Here, we'll take a look at the ends here so you can see what's going on. You've got uh, an output here to do a daisy chain so you can link up both together. And there's your dimming control input. It's probably like a Cat 5E or a Cat 6E. I'll have to take a look. There you have a dimmer control and a shutoff on the end here. You can actually turn it right off, I believe. Yes, there's a hunt. You turn it off. And then you switch it to EXT to do your exterior inputs for your uh, controls. And as you can tell here, you can see already from the side here, just because this was uh, you know, not tightened up, but this is the angles that you can move these LEDs. I know that there's a guy, Rob, online there that's been watching and asking me a bunch of questions about how much coverage this is going to cover. Well, you know, for example, if you've got it angled out like this, you should cover a wider space, should be able to cover a wider space of four feet by four feet. Remember, LEDs don't have a light intensity like HID bulbs do, so the distance of efficacy of these lights is going to be the issue, okay? You can spread that light all around all you want, but uh, the intensity is only going to be a certain distance away, which is usually about, about you know, 12 inches to 18 inches, somewhere around there on normal LEDs. So, we're going to take this bad boy. We're going to leave it upside down here. We're going to run the the power cable here. We're going to plug this bad boy in and then you guys can see this thing light up. Uh, we're going to move this back here so you can get it all on the camera here. And uh, yeah, we're going to spark this bad boy up. We're going to take this last hanging bracket out of the bag here so we don't uh, misplace it. And there we go. There's our two little hanging brackets. You see that it'll go on each end there and that's where you're going to hang your hangers from. So this thing here I do believe this is supposed to be comparable to a 630 ceramic metal highlight, which we've been running constantly in our 5x5 tents and a lot of our grows on our YouTube channel. So if you want to check and see what we've been doing already on our YouTube channel, check it out, growers and smokers. Okay, here's our cable, uh, IP65, I believe. Uh, so it's basically 
uh, a lock watertight connection so you don't get any humidity in there or anything. It comes with a one ton volt cord. Um, on our description on our website, it said six foot cord uh, from our manufacturer and then when I looked at the actual product description online, it said 10 foot cord. So we're gonna solve and that uh, dilemma right now and figure out what is it? Is it a six foot cord or is it a 10 foot cord? Well, here I'll tie this. We'll do that. Well, I can already tell right now, my arm span is six feet. It's longer than six feet. Yeah, it's a 10 foot cord. So we'll have to modify our, uh, our description on our website to that because it actually does come with a 10 foot cord, not a six foot cord. So there's our plug. Now, if you take a look at this here, you're gonna take this plug in. There's our there's our plug-in adapter. You take out the center plug. You gotta push the little pin there. Hold on one second. I gotta grab a screwdriver or something. I think this will work fine here. There, plug. You gotta push in that little tab there. Unlock there, and there's a little there's a little cover. So be careful here. See that's the end there. There's a little push tab there, and you slide this protective cover off, and there's your sealed end unit. So that's our AC input, right? So we're gonna take this now, this plug, and remember, it's just a push and click. It's got a rubber seal there. That's what makes it IP65 or IP66 certified. You push, click. We are now plugged in, and it's a watertight connection. So that's how easy that is. We're gonna take, we're gonna check the power knob on the end here and put it on off, and it's on off. So when we plug this bad boy in here, we're not gonna have a shock to the system here. We're going to, uh, Run that cable here for one second. Get our extension cord handy here. So we're gonna plug in our light here. Okay, it's not gonna turn on yet. We're gonna plug it in, we've got juice to it. We're good to go. Everything's good. So now we want to see this bad boy turn on. We're gonna turn this to 100 percent bang. Whoa. Now, I do have to say that it is bright. You don't have to wait for it to warm up or anything. Uh, we can literally suntan our retinas with these LEDs. Like, it's just crazy. But that's the light intensity. If you want to see what it looks like here, that'll light up your whole room. It's, uh, and like I said, when you angle these, these light fixtures, you can angle them this way or that way. So if you wanted a decent light spread and you're trying to make up some space, you could really spread it out and uh, and spread out that intensity. And do what? As I look at the floor pattern, uh, it still does create a lot of light. You can see a little bit dimmer here in the center, but you're still pushing light in the center. So this would cover, I would bet, more than a four by four foot space, probably five by five, especially when you angle this. Um, this looks to me like about two and a half feet, three feet uh, length, but you can angle them out and then you can angle them in. So if you want to really boost up what's in the center there. I'm trying to be careful so I don't drop this thing. Um, you can angle these both to the center of your of your lighting area and uh, really pump up those numbers. So there you go. The Fino 440 by Phantom LED. And yeah, this is almost unbearable to even look at. It is so bright. So that's at 100%. Turn it down, it's a little bit dimmer. That's what, check and see what these are all out here. That's. Uh, 100% down to 80%, down to 60%, down to 40%. So if you want to start your seedlings and all that kind of stuff, you you know, doing it at a 40 will probably help you get that accomplished. But see, as soon as you start turning this thing up here, this is quite, uh, right, there's off. So uh, yeah, just in case you want to see it again. Boom, 100%, bright as heck. But there you guys go. We're going to be setting this thing up in our tent shortly. We're going to be putting in a 5x5 Mammoth Pro 150. We're going to be putting a blue mat auto watering system and using the greenhouse feeding bio line. Uh, we're going to try and make this, you know, basically hands off, let it grow, let everything do its own work, set it all up so it's auto water, get all the right nutrients in there. And we're just going to let her buck for three months and we're going to see what we get. But again, thank you, Hydro Farm for letting us uh, check out this light. We saw it in our little, uh, in our little uh, opening party at the new location. And we had this one set up also with the MX uh, by Phantom. 
Uh, that's the Photo Bio MX. A little price here, about the $1,400 range. This one here, uh, uh, MSRP is around $750. So a pretty decent light for $750. We'll see what it produces at the end of the day, but the, the rule of thumb here with this light fixture, um, I heard that it was supposed to be equivalent to what we can get out of a 630 CMH for running uh, a third less uh, power, roughly. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned to our YouTube channel. We'll be doing a review on this. We'll be posting regular videos on how this is performing in our tent. We'll be setting this up shortly. It's Ricky Growers and Smokers. Have yourself a great day, and uh, stay lit. Cheers.